welcome high school football fans. It's like Christmas for guys like you and I. It's Larry Brassfield here with John Hampton and what a beautiful night for opening day in high school football. Oh, Larry you said it great. This, what better weather, right? 75 degrees, a little bit of wind. A lot of people out here to enjoy the first night of uh, Friday Night Lights. And that's right, we're coming to you live. Well, actually not so live, but here at TV 17 Outdoors. But we're at the Miracle on Sullivan. We call it God's Field. And what a tradition for this Aurora Christian football team but they didn't make the football, or they didn't make the playoffs last year for the first time in 13 years. Third year, right, Larry, and it was sad. And we're coming around here, we're used to making the playoffs a lot, and last year we just couldn't get it done with a, with a tough schedule on the CCL. As you know, you know, you're up against teams like St. Lawrence, Brother Rice. It's hard. So you got to win these first few games to be able to move on to the playoffs. No doubt about it. So hopes are high coming into this year? Yes, they sure are. We got a quarterback, Drew Clippert, we had last year, sophomore, being touted by colleges all over the nation right now. We've got uh, Harner, we, we've got Devin Cross. I mean, these guys are loaded to the max, average 277 on the line. This is this is it, they can't do it tonight. I don't know what's going on. And Aurora Central Catholic comes in off a three and six year. They're returning some lettermen. They've got a returning quarterback, but as always high school football, we just don't know, especially on opening night. You don't, this is right down the street, you know, is where they are. And uh, it seems like whenever we play them, it's always a great game. And their quarterback, he's the real deal. And I think this is a senior now, if I'm not mistaken. So this is the second year at the helm. I think he's going to do really well tonight. Uh, we are looking forward to it, and we know that you are too. So stick with us after the break. And this opener has been brought to you by Hodges Westside Truck Center. Back after this here on TV17. Hodges Westside Truck Center is the place to go if you need a work truck for your business. Hodges offers a wide variety of trucks to meet your needs. And we have two locations to serve you in Marengo and in Elburn. And that's where you can browse around and find the right truck for you. We also service what we sell. We have an excellent parts and customer service department. And we also have a complete workshop to make the repairs you need to keep your truck on the road. Our Elburn facility is located on Main Street just east of Route 47. And in Marengo, you can find Westside Truck Center on Route 20 Grant Highway near I-90. Welcome high school football fans. It's coach time. Jay Hampton here with me. TV 17 outdoors. The Aurora Christian Eagles will be receiving in the south end zone. Jay, what a great night for football. Oh, this is fantastic. It does get much better in this crosstown rivals. And here we get ready and we're set to go. I think that's going to be Ryan Burke from the five-yard line up the left hash. Here to the near sideline across the 40. Woo! Just across midfield. Oh, he really took that around the edge. That was a game-saving tackle by number three. Boy, I tell you what, I was thinking that it was a little kind of tentative, and all of a sudden they bring in that Monday night football theme and oh. here they line up for the kickoff and just like that it's electric. You know this is Ryan Burke's second time around in school here he left and he came back and he's ready to make a huge impact tonight. You, I guarantee you watch that kid. Drew Clippard settles in under center. Give off the right tackle. Nice gain. You know the thing is too Larry they've had this in their locker room since the end of last season when they didn't make the playoffs they've had a clock counting down for this game. They are literally? Ready, literally a clock counting down for the moment, the exact moment at 7.30 when this game starts. I love it. I love it. That's it. You know, and how else do you just come out of that but look at your next game up? Oh, so absolutely. A lot of thought, time, and preparation. Clippard on the roll, smartly just stepping out of bounds. Good maturity there. Oh, absolutely. It was only a... Uh, junior this year actually and he has been sought out by probably about eight to nine D1 schools across the nation. He's going to go somewhere big time in the next couple years. I guarantee it. So a 6-2 kind of rangy lefty. Lefty, I'm telling you. And a cannon of an arm. One of the most accurate quarterbacks Donnie said has ever come through a Royal Christian. That was very smart in his part there just to take the ball out. Don't try to force it. That'll push him back into third and nine territory. 
I'd look for him something out of the pocket, maybe give him a little bit of a uh, couple options here. For the first time tonight, we see Drew in the shotgun, stays in the pocket here to the near side, complete. That's number 81, Devin Cross. Yeah. Devin, again, is only a junior. He made big contributions last year to the team, and uh, starting as a sophomore in the CCL was fantastic. He's worked his tail off all year, and then he's gonna, you're going to hear his name a lot from you, I think, tonight. Well, you know, and, and when you look at as strong and storied as this football program has been, certainly with graduation and, and not a very big team, you're going to be subject to those graduation kind of waves. And But to see these underclassmen coming back and maturing, it's really, you know, fun to watch. It's a testament to the program. You're absolutely right. So with the oh, more laundry. Drew looks like he's hurt a little bit, doesn't he? Number quarterback there, kind of limping off, holding his side. Let's keep an eye on that. I didn't pick up on that, Jay. Yeah. So yeah, opening night, you see some of the, the typical uh, frustrations that uh, you have with young players and substitution infraction and, and another one here. Off tackle right, that's cross again. Bust to the outside. Nice pickup. That looked like a simple 26 lead there. It didn't look like much to it. Very well blocked. Yeah, Danny Russell, I think, was on the uh, on the carry. As a pass linebacker, you probably used to love seeing a running back coming through with a free shot like that, didn't you? <laughs> you live for those clean <laughs> shots. That state championship team you had. Oh, those years ago. <laughs> Single receiver split wide to the left. Shuffling to get back up the middle. Oh, he's going to be close. So now did uh, Danny Russell get a lot of reps last year and from nah. this running back position, or is this his first year in this he, role? He got some, but this is his first year in a major role that he's going to uh, carry the, the workload for sure. Um, the kid can cut on a dime. He, he's so much fun to watch. Brock Harner split wide to the left, and I love that football name. Oh, hit hard, but still on his feet. Great second effort. Danny Russell, that kid doesn't, he doesn't go down softly, does he? First down and yeah. more. Something's going on with Drew. Don, you know, Donnie's not one to sit there and uh, pound the ball, as you well know. So I don't know, something's going on. I think Drew's hurt a little bit. I, I am noticing a little, uh, yeah, a little. A little hitching his giddy up. There you go. <laughs> yeah, he may have rolled his ankle. He's uh, obviously trying to walk it off and play through it. Probably won't see him rolling out by design here. Receivers split each side, give up the middle. So from one has been to another, from a quarterback <laughs> that's you, and I mean that in the most loving way. You're the best. Quarterback's <laughs> best friend, O-line. This is a oh. big group of kids. This is, you know, it's great you brought that up. Average 277 on the line. I think last year they might have averaged 245, 250. Starting a true freshman, too, at 302. Denver Warner, I believe his last name. Denver Warner, yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. He's lined up at oh, fullback. Yes, he is. Speaking of which. Look at that. <laughs> he was ready to lay down somebody there, wasn't he? Oh, come on. Now, you That's a little bit of a refrigerator, huh? I mean, if you can't get a yard behind him. Yeah, and so, yeah, if you're the 185-pound linebacker and here he comes out of that fullback position, oh, my. I tell you what, he is he's as quick as any of the skill positions on the JV team as well. He's fast. He's, he's a lot of muscle, very good on his feet. Oh man, he, you gotta get him on a wrestling mat. <laughs> I bet they will, I'm sure they will. From the gun, and goes down immediately. It's number 34, Garrett St. Clair for the Chargers. That was a great blitz call they had on that. They had the right call on defensively for that play. Uh, quarterback didn't pick it up very well in that aspect. 
So they're probably out of field goal range and uh, certainly going to have to go for it here. Mm. It wouldn't make sense to punt. I think you're going to see a timeout. Well, it looks like they're getting the call in. What do you got? 15 seconds left on the uh, play clock here. Let's see what they've got. Harner goes beyond the hash to the far right side. Devin Cross split down low. Oh, they got a, they got a stunt on there. From the oh, gun with time. Him. Complete to Cross. Oh, he's, no, and it's going to depend on the spot. He may just be short, but he's in the vicinity. That was a little comeback there, back shoulder. It looked like what he did when he was on the way back. He might have. He did. He did. He came back a little too far there and uh, didn't get the first down. You know, as a receiver, you, you really have to know where the uh, first down markers are. Even that little comeback, Brett Favre, he made a life of throwing that, didn't he? Oh, yeah. You know, you got to know where the first down marker is, and you have to. You, you can't bring your, 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 your comeback route on that inside the uh, first down. So the Chargers get a break with the well-timed blitz and then the completion just short of the first down. Johnny Belskis returning starting quarterback for the Chargers from a spread. Jet sweep off the left side. Good quickness there. Well, they blocked that really well. They blocked that really well. That gets quick. They've always lived and died by the jet sweep over at... Uh, ACC there. Well, and you talked about uh, the tradition between these crosstown rivals, so certainly know each other, familiar with the schemes and plays that they're going to be seeing against each other. Probably not a whole lot that's new. Yeah, this is actually, I think, the first time they played each other, and it's been a few years now since uh, Royal Christian left the, uh, that, that conference. Got a first. Is that a first down? Just like that. Well, I tell you that uh, that line of, um, of of ACC is really giving it to Aurora Christian right now. That defensive line. Some big boys up front there as well. Tight bunch of receivers here to the near side. Give up the middle. Going nowhere. Christian Cervantes. He came off that block beautifully. Great play off the D line there. Big and quick. You know, I think oh. for ACC to be very successful, they, they really got the double team their hole they're running through. They're going to have to block those big boys up front for Aurora for Christian. Second and 11. Fumbles, snap, pitch is off to the left side, and he's going nowhere. Good pursuit by the defense there. I tell you, as a quarterback, there's nothing worse than seeing that ball roll back to you on a, on a snap like that and happen to rush it. It's no, that's no other worse feeling. Well, I guess besides an interception, probably, and you lose the game, but. Well, it's whenever the exchange goes bad, you it know. Just, your timing's off. Exactly, absolutely, you're absolutely exactly. right, Mary. So now the Chargers face third and 10 from their own 24 yard line. Belskis from the shotgun. Three receivers here to the near side. Quick hitter, complete and fumbled. Did you see that hit? That was a smart play. And ultimately I think number seven, Ryan Burke is yes. gonna come out out of the pile with the ball. You know, that's football instincts. You can't teach that. For those of you who can't see it, the ball was bouncing up the field. Ryan Burke come in, and he could have probably picked it up, Larry, maybe, but he went ahead and basically laid the guy out and knocked him out to make sure that one of his teammates would come back, and he had ultimately ended up getting the ball. But he made sure they weren't going to. Wait, that that's a heads-up play. Such a quick hitter. You, I, I almost hesitated to see if they'd call that a fumble because he maybe had a step or that's, two, and then that got that hit. Yeah, if you can explain to me anymore what a catch is, I'd really like for you to do that. <laughs> Very subjective. Yeah, you got that right. So the Eagles take over at the 38. 
Off the right tackle for nearly all 10 yards, Danny Russell once again. Well, that 26 lead, they are just pounding that. They just, ACC doesn't have a, uh, anything to stop that there. 26 lead is off tackle right? Yeah, off tackle right. There you go. Pretty That's good as for old a, school as it pretty, gets. <laughs> it does not get much more old school than that. That's pretty good for a linebacker. <laughs> and wrestler. Got to throw that in there, too, for all you listening. Yeah, well, you try and pick up on what you can. Look at that. Same if it ain't broke, we'll fix it. You sound like Don Beebe now. He might run this play five or six more times until they stop it. He will literally, I've seen him run a play 13 times in a row once. 13? 13 times for years. And was that 13. a 26 lead? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I wish I could remember the play. I just remember, <laughs> that's the same dang play they're running. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'd look for something here on the left side in the flat. He's got plenty of room. You get a little, uh, you get somebody with some speed in the flat. Drew as accurate as he is. Well, and you got Brock Harner one on one. Mm -hmm. uh, they go off guard up the middle on the left oh, side. Boy, he's gonna he's just gonna take what they'll give him, I guess. And let's give credit to the big guys up front, really opening some holes. And it's not that they're just muscling, they, they're executing pretty crisp holes, you know, for the back to hit. And to be successful, you, you know as well as anybody, you have to be able to run the ball. Yeah, you can't set up the pass to run, you have to set up the run to the pass, and they're doing a great job right now up front. Hey, CC really needs to get some guys in there. Post pattern on the right side, overthrown just a tad. Looked like he might have rushed that a little bit, possibly. Uh, I think he thought he was getting a little bit more pressure than he had. Looked like he had a little bit more time than he thought. Well, and it looks like Clippard still has that hitch in the giddy up, <laughs> as you mentioned. Well, he sure does. Looks like it's his right hip, maybe. It's... Jay, I'm telling you right now, you're in the next, if they don't score here, you're going to see something going to the left here, Brock Harner's direction, the next couple plays. Oh, I'd say, I wouldn't be surprised you see a little slant. Oh, he can't even get back there. Great second oh, effort, right picks up the first down. That's what they needed right there. Got to get a little confidence. Yeah, he's hurt, the quarterbacks. He's, uh, he's hurt tonight, it looks like. Now, Ryan Burke just checked in, and he's listed as wide receiver, but boy, I, I look at him, and he's almost a uh, tight end kind of body. Oh, 100% tight end. That guy, I, I don't know, was 6'2", 6'3", maybe? 6'3", 200. Yeah, he's, and he catches everything. Shuffling in front, leading the way. Let me see. So, yeah, he's almost that H back. He's a versatile. He can go in the backfield. He can come out of the wide. He, he's, he has speed. He runs like a 4'5", 4'6", 40. He's that fast, huh? He's fast, yeah. And he's a senior? Uh, yes, I believe he is a senior this year. Hey, Jeremiah. Second and six from the near hash, the 10 yard line. Russell hit hard. You know, that's exactly what uh, ACC needed right there. A nice, get, get some confidence, get a stop, give them third down. Garrett St. Clair from that inside backer position, making his presence known once again. I like the way he plays. He's calling the signals to them defensively too. Yeah, he's a player, you can tell. Third and six. Under 20 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. There's that slant to the near side. Tended for I got to tell you, Larry, I, he, he's one of the most accurate quarterbacks to come through, and he is not, you've seen the last two passes, he has not been on on those. He's lumping off the field right now. I think they're bringing in the field goal team. Yeah. It's got the marker down at the 16 yard line, so this will be a 26 yard field goal attempt. Trey Madsen. Spot is down, the kick is up, and it is good. So the Eagles turn the turnover into three points, 
And with 12 seconds remaining in the first quarter, Eagles lead 3-0 back after this here on TV 17. Get set to save now at your local Kubota dealer. Kubota's BX70 series subcompact tractors are easy to drive, gentle on turf, and powerful enough to handle a wide range of garden and yard chores. Now get financing as low as 0% APR for up to five years on a new BX70 and up to $1,000 in savings when you buy a front loader and second qualifying implement. See your local Kubota dealer today. Independent Allstate agent in Sugar Grove is David Weiss. With his friendly, courteous staff, David can give you the best rates for your home insurance as well as your auto insurance. Let him show you how to save money for all of your insurance needs. His office is conveniently located on Route 47 and Cross Street in Sugar Grove. Call him anytime. His phone number is area code 630-466-7835. Welcome back high school football fans. It's the opening night of the 2016 high school football season. Your Christian Eagles out to a 3-0 lead after a 26-yard field goal. Was he not down? He not have, I, I, was, I was blown back there. Looked like he might have rolled across the back of number one, uh, Luke Sal Salaka. That's exactly what happened. Looked like he rolled across the back. They didn't call him down. That was a heads-up play. A great second effort. And... Uh, Boy, Griffin Zajac, he's got some really quick feet. Oh, my gosh, that kid. He was the one on the jet sweep, wasn't he, if I he recall? Is. Yeah, so he's... I wouldn't be surprised if you see that play right now, actually. He's got some open space. This will be the last play of the first quarter, presumably. Give up the middle, very little gain. And that concludes the first quarter of play here on opening night, TV 17, your home for high school football. Back after this, word from our sponsors. Here's Pegs on Main Street in Maple Park has provided quality professional hair care for the entire family. Peg and her staff keep up on the latest fashion trends for adults and children. She also carries a wide variety of hair care products for your convenience. And when they're finished pampering your hair, you can walk over and browse around the fantastic on-site gift shop. Stop in anytime at Pegs on Main in downtown Maple Park or give them a call at 815-827-3051. So the Chargers turn it around here to start the second quarter, second and eight from their own 44-yard line. Johnny Belskis, there's that jet sweep you called for, Jay. And Zajac picks Brock up Carter. the first down into Eagle territory. It's Brock Connor. You know what, even though uh, uh, with all the talent they have, they still have to have a lot of these kids going both ways. you got Brock Connor, Devin Cross. You've got so many of these kids going both ways. So I'm wondering as the evening goes on, with this fast pace, how it's going to take a toll on these guys. Well, I would imagine uh, this program is very big on conditioning. And fortunately, I mean, it's really not that humid. It's The weather has somewhat broke. Yeah, it's nice. You can ask for better weather for football. You're absolutely right. Number 21, Ryan Serza, still on his feet, picks up the first down. What moves that kid has. That was incredible, about how he bounced that out there. He had the cornerback on the island, and, and, and uh, he just whiffed. i tell you what, Jay, this Charger team has come prepared to play. i tell you what, we talk about the uh, clock counting down for uh, Roar Christian inside the locker room. ACC, they must have something going on because I tell you, they are ready. You are absolutely right. They're, they want to they want to pound it to them. I would imagine they may have a bit of a chip on their shoulder because, come on, let's face it, which program gets all the notoriety That's very here? true. So they're, trying, they're, they're out here to prove a point, I guarantee it. And so far, they're, I think they're doing a, a great job. Trips left, jet sweep. Oh. That's Serza again. Got the corner. 
across the 20, picking up the first down. He is so elusive. He is so elusive. Is he a senior? What is he, Larry? He is just a junior. Good for him. It also looks like something helping the Chargers, at least on this drive, they, they've got a good tempo. You know what I, I what I can tell so far, and I'm sure you can as well. They're making great adjustments. They're just giving what what they'll take. They're gonna they can beat a AC uh, ACS on the outside right now, and I think that's what they're gonna keep doing. Well, and it starts by they they found a way to get that corner to free them up. We'll see if they continue with that. Serves a deep. Give up the middle. Pounding the rock back at them. Trying to mix it up a little bit, probably for them. I, you know what? I wonder if they're trying to set something up here. You know, they little little off tackle there. I'm looking well, for they, maybe something a little to the far side. They got a good two man, you know, two headed monster with the running game with Griffin Zajac and then Ryan Serza keeping the defense honest. Second and five, and you get the sense that the Chargers feel like they're going to punch this one in. This could be a little pitch this way, maybe. Well, hit hard, but good second effort. Leg drive. Boy, that's how you want your running back to run the ball. <laughs> you, you know what? And you can practice and practice all you want, but you can't teach that either. He's going. He's lowering his shoulder. He wants. He, he might be somebody sitting on the other side that wants his uh, wants a starting spot. He's going to make sure they don't get it. Well, you know, I've always felt that the most dangerous running backs are the guys that are looking to deliver the blow. You know what? And that's how you don't get hurt. You deliver the blow, you won't get hurt as typically as often. As a linebacker, that had to just seen the guy come one-on-one. -on -one. I never was in that position you were in. That had to be something, huh? You live for it. <laughs> Third and three. Too much time? Oh, oh, that's going to hurt that's the Chargers. That's a killer. It looked like they had the same exact play just coming to the other side. Something off tackle on the left. Let's see if they make the adjustment here. Now, I love the programming challenge when a number 20 checks in for the other team, but there's not a 20 on the roster. <laughs> well, you know, times are tough over there. You got the ink. Yeah, I see that. Nope, not a one. Seems like we have a little chess match going on right now, don't we? Chargers decide to take a timeout, and so will we. Back in a moment here on TV 17. Hi, I'm Melissa Garcia of Remax All Pro in Sugar Grove. If you're thinking of buying or selling a home this season, we can help. Our team approach helps provide personal and professional assistance in your home buying needs. If you're looking for a home, our buyer specialist team can assist you with every facet necessary for a successful buying experience. If you're considering putting your house on the market, we showcase your home both in print with local periodicals, newspapers, and the real estate book, and online at enhanced sites with realtor.com, Zillow, homes.com, and Trulia, not to mention many more, and also on the go by assigning QR codes, text codes, and mobile sites that connect your home to mobile consumers on the go. Let the Melissa Garcia team at Remax All Pro help you find the perfect home or help you get the highest and best price for your current home. Call or text anytime at 630-878-9868 or visit our website at www.melissagarciahomes.com. Welcome back to second quarter action here on opening night. The visiting Aurora Central Chargers have drove all the way down to the Eagles 19 yard line after a penalty. They're looking at third and eight. Jay, it looks like they're coming out in a shotgun. One receiver left, three to the right. I would be too surprised if he hits a little slant here on the left hand side. They've got that clearing out. Belskis rolling right, complete. Boy, I tell you what, the receiver just found a soft spot, settled down, and said, here. I, he just he just broke the ankles of that defensive back there. He didn't know what was going on. There was nobody within six yards of him. Well, he uh, 
he was hitting that hard and broke off the route and the DB continued into the end zone. And that was a great the comeback, route. a hitch almost. That's so hard to defend. If the quarterback and the receiver are on like that, it, that's so hard to defend that, that uh, play. We got an old school T formation. I love it. That's Serza making his way in for the score. He just went to, that, I like how you said that, old school. The old school, T formation, three backers. You follow me, I'll follow you, and let's get in the end zone. Here we go. It's, uh, they could have almost said, hey, we're going off the right tackle, guys. See if you can stop us. I tell you what, this Charger football team has come to play. They sure have. Good for them. Number three, Jorge Yanez, with a point after attempt for the Chargers. And it is good. So the visiting Chargers jump out to a 7-3 lead here in the second quarter, back after this here on TV 17. weekend is just an excuse to get a long way from boring. With models up to 62 horsepower or room for four. Go rugged. Go big. Go Gator. Hi, I'm Dave Gieske from Buck Brothers in Hampshire. We have three other locations to serve you. Harvard, Wakanda, and Libertyville. Whether you're a seasoned hunter or getting ready for your first hunt, you'll need to be prepared. JR Shooting Sports is your complete shooting sports retail center. We can outfit the entire family, including ladies and youths. We'll equip you for the hunting season with a full line of shooting accessories. And don't forget about your hunting, buddy. JR Shooting Sports has your dog training collars, scents, and retrieving dummies to give you every advantage out there. Visit JR Shooting Sports today, a mile west of the Fox Valley Mall on Oakhurst Drive in Aurora. Welcome back, football fans. Opening night here in the 2016 Illinois High School football season. Oh, there's a mistake you don't want to have right, right off the bat. You come down, you score, and then you kick it out of bounds. High school rules will put that on the 35 or the 40. I believe it's the 40, but don't 35. Hold. 35. I hate it when you're right, Larry. I think it uh, may have been the 40 years ago, or maybe that's college, not sure. But yeah, you know, they, they have to be full of momentum and happy that they put together a sustainable drive. They punch it in, and boy, now the Eagles have excellent field position. And Drew Clippert still limping, but in the game. Wide receivers split to each side. Danny Russell dropped for a loss. Patrick Flanagan making a good he defensive is. play. That's about his third or fourth. He came off that, that end and just made a great play. Shuffled his feet, got to the ball carrier, wrapped him up. It was a fantastic move he put on him. Well, and it all started by getting himself in position, keeping that contained, and then the great technique, as you mentioned there, Jay. Clippard with fade here to the near sideline, intercepted at the 43-yard line, and he, there he is again, Flanagan. Wow, Flan uh, you, did you just say his name? We did. <laughs> He's that all over, over the place. I tell you what, they have come out, they come out to play, and they're doing a great job. This defense is playing fantastic. You know, that's just a throw Drew should never have made. You got a, you got a safety. He's got to read that safety off, and he throws it. If you're going to throw it, you got to throw that at a B line. He, uh, Brock Harner had the receiver beat. He's got to throw that a little bit quicker, and he floated it up there. And I'm sure the wind caught that a little bit, Larry, but that was just sitting duck for that safety. Yeah, I think it was a couple things, as you mentioned, a little bit too much air under the ball, but he did not look him off at all. The safety just read that right. like a book, as they say. And say hello to my friend Mo Mentum. Mo Mentum. <laughs> Chargers. <laughs> that old Mo playing DB, wearing 24. 
And there's Serza picking up seven up the middle. It appears to me that they're happy getting getting their three to four or five yards a pop. I mean, I guess if you do the math, three, four, five yards a pop, you're probably going to get a first down. Well, and also when you have that sustained ground game, what are you doing? You're yeah. keeping that high-powered Eagle offense on the sideline. Absolutely. Another thing I'm impressed with the Chargers is it's not just one guy. We're seeing a lot of Ryan Serza, but we're also seeing Griffin Zajac. So it's a well-balanced attack, which makes it even more difficult to defend. Throwing a little uh, Eagles offense at him here. So familiar for the D. Inside handoff, Serza again. Just a couple. It's going to bring up uh, about a third and three. I like the call, though. I still like the call. Spread it out. Try to get into one of your better players' hands and... You know what, you, you be my guy. I'm putting my best guy up against yours and see what you can do. Unfortunately for uh, ACC, they just came out on the, uh, the wrong end there. So I see Belskis running to the sideline every play to get the call. <laughs> it's a little... Don't get me started with that. <laughs> I tell you what, you know, it's, it's tough. You want to talk to your quarterback, but I just feel like it tires them out a little bit. And it's loud out here. Third and four, there's Serves with the inside give. Looks like he is just at that first close. down marker. That's gonna be, I think you're right. I think he's got it. Well, you know, that's exactly it. And I am gonna get you started because <laughs> why run your quarterback to death? You yeah. know, I mean, old school, we used to messenger plays in. Yeah. Or come on, hand signals, wristbands. I think with today's plays, the fast moving pace, even in our eighth grade, our middle school, we do hand signals, we do wristbands. I mean, there's so many other ways Obviously, I can understand bringing the guy over all the time. Hey, you know, I, what do you see in or something? You got a little bit of time, but I guarantee you by the end of the game, that's what takes his toll on him. You would think so. Here's that old school T formation once again. Oh, neutral zone infraction. And that is a good call. That was a great call. Yeah. They lined up in that old school. But team. I think that's an elite. Yeah, I would agree. He came in from the, uh, from the line on the tight end. Yeah, no, it, the, the tight yeah. end was just repositioning either over to a wing or uh, unbalanced yeah. to the right. So he got him. That was a great call on their part. You know, it's something you don't see often. I think that's what threw him off, too, uh, threw the Eagles off. You, you know, you think it's, you gotta, you're in there, he's up on the line there, the line, and um, you're not used to seeing that guy come out on motion there. Right, well, especially you don't expect a shift when they come out in that tight tee. Absolutely. That was a great call on their part. Fresh set of downs from the Eagle, 42. Three players shift to a little bunch off the right side. They fake the counter back, Serza up the middle. That is a well-designed play. They are, they are just right now. I think this motion is really starting to confuse the Eagles defense a little bit here. Well, and what you do with that misdirection that they had with the wing coming back, you froze that middle linebacker. And you know that as well as anybody, just that one second, it's all it takes. And he who hesitates, um, is lost? Lost, okay. <laughs> but just that little hesitation allows that crease and that what would have been a one or two yard gain became a seven yard gain. Second and three, Serza. Well, he's I not thought, a very big guy. What's how big is he anyway, Larry? Can he? He's listed about 185. Oh, is that big? Doesn't look like it. But I tell you what, he is. He's yeah, not even. He runs harder than 175, 180 pounds. Absolutely. Certainly. You know, the other thing that uh, I, I like to observe here is, you know, the Chargers do have a size disadvantage, but that old line interior, they're working well in sync together. They have great technique. I'm sitting there watching their line on the, the, their technique. It's, their, their, their traps are working great. They're pulling fantastic. Look at the guard just pulled Off there. tackle left. That's a big hole. Second effort out to the 25. That just proves your point right there, how well their line is doing on that. You know, they have the guard on the right side pulling across. Uh, fantastic. They sealed that trap. He, a, he should be offense coordinator too, Larry. The Eagles take their first time out of the night. We'll take one as well. Back in a moment here on TV 17. 
If you're looking for a fun place to bring the kids, look no further than the Sugar Grove Family Fun Center on Route 47. Kids of all ages like to start out on the go-kart speedway. And for the drivers who want a bigger challenge, they can check out the slick track. Then cool off with water cannons you squirt your friends with on the bumper boats. Or load up the water balloons in buckets and sling them at your friends in water wars. And let's not forget our modern, fun-filled miniature golf course. Look for us on Route 47 in Sugar Grove between Jericho Road and Route 30. Welcome back to the Miracle on Sullivan, Cods Field. Home stadium for the Aurora Christian Eagles who find themselves trailing three to seven to the visiting Aurora Central Chargers who are on the march. Ryan serves that that's gotta be his 12th or 15th carry. <laughs> We're seeing a whole lot of him now. Yeah, I think you're right. They're gonna go with what works. Yeah, they're doing a great job. They know what's they know what how they can beat this team. Uh, they know that what they can do to the Eagles, just keep pounding the ball, keep their offense off of the field. Kudos to this team and their coach. They're doing a great job. Well, and I made mention of uh, the momentum factor earlier. I just really get the impression that they're they're believing in themselves here. Oh, absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. Flanagan joining Serza in the backfield there in the fullback position in the old school T formation. Right halfback, number five, Jeff Albert. And that's Albert with the carry, following the caravan through. Well, I'll tell you what, that's one thing I'm sure the Eagles defense didn't plan for, the old T formation. This might be, this, that might be the only time you say that the entire year. <laughs> Actually, that is part of the uh, the Chicago Bears song. They make yeah, reference, but yeah, that's yeah. about how far back that goes. Yeah. So now this, we are at a key point in this early game, the first, or early in the game, this opener, John, Jay looking at third and three within well, the red zone. I think if they stop him here, if the Eagles defense can hold him, I, they, they have to be going for it. That's a long field goal right now into the wind. So I think this is, you know, this is at least two down territory for them to get the first. We got a little confusion there. Well, you had the uh, ACC coach out onto the field. Oh. Taking the time out, wants to think about it. We'll be back in a moment here on TV 17. Well, there's cell phones, jewelry, TVs, and baby clothes, computers, arcade games, MP3s, and stereos, backpacks, jackets, toys, and fresh produce, eye exams, appliances, rugs, and cowboy boots, good food, drink shades, and pet accessories, fragrances, massages, hats, music, DVDs, custom shirts, bats, purses, and socks galore, dresses, blankets, dollar items, and so much more. Find anything from anywhere, from the common to the rare. There's good times to share at Seven Mile Fair. Opens at 9 until 5. No kid in Caledonia right off the eye. Find anything from anywhere, from the common to the rare. There's good times to share at Seven Mile Fair. Opens at 9 until 5. No kid in Caledonia right off the eye. Where weekends mean bargains, Seven Mile Fair. Welcome back, football fans. With 2.08 remaining here in the first half, this is a key moment in this football game. From the 19, give to serve. No, they don't. Play action pass, fake oh, out everybody. They did. You know what? He was open. He was, he had him. He had him. All he had to do was drop the ball into place there. I tell you right now, Dave Beebe, the head coach, runs the defense. He is probably livid right now with the way his boys are playing. This is a, this is a game changer. Right? You stop him right here, and you can come down and score, going to the halftime with the lead. There's, we're going to see what they're made of right now, this defense. Or conversely, being devil's advocate, ACC picks up the first down and scores, could potentially go up 14-3. And as you mentioned, they will be receiving the kickoff to open the second half. 
big play this right be, here. Absolutely. Biggest play of the half so far. Velskis from the shotgun. Stays in the pocket. Receiver open. I think that skip. Yeah, was on the ground. Yeah, on the ground. You know, he had to rush that throw. There was He was going to get leveled if he didn't get rid of the ball when he did. A big, uh, was that, that was big Denver there coming in. Uh -huh. Here's the thing now that's going to be for, for the Eagles. You know, we got Drew Clippard, one of the best quarterbacks probably in the state right now with a hurt. He's injured a little bit. Their backups are true freshmen, Josh Beatham, carrying the JV team earlier tonight. So to go from one of the best quarterbacks to a true freshman that's only hasn't ever only played one JV game in his whole life. That's not what that's not what the Eagles want to see right now. I would stick with Drew Clippert. Oh no, we have Josh Beatham in there right now. Yes, we do. Good call by you, Jay. So I got to thank it, and and we got the big, we got the fridge in at fullback. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be running the ball here. <laughs> uh oh. Fumbled snap. How many times you see that when you've got a quarterback transition? Especially with a young kid like that. And I just hope Denver Warner's parents know that Fridge reference was just in the most loving and honorable. I think he would be honored by that. He better. I sure hope so. Remember the McDLT where the oh hot stays gosh. hot, the cool stays cool? Oh, my. And they had a little styrofoam <laughs> package, too. You think yeah, it was it's they styrofoam? Box. They would have everything. Oh, you bring out the best food references. You're, you're great. We're going to be conservative here. Off tackle right, oh. Danny Russell. Boy, Danny beats him. That's, uh, he might be off to the race with the one guy to beat there. Well, it looks like Coach is saying discretion, better part of valor, but they can't assume, actually. Well, what do they have, one timeout maybe? I think I, ACC might have one timeout left. I'd be using it right here. Absolutely. Try and get the ball back. Third down. This is a huge play right now for the Eagles. This is a great play right now if ACC can stop. Well, they're saving the timeout because if they would have thrown it and incomplete, would have stopped the clock, but they yeah. keep it on the ground. Got Push Russell out of bounds so they don't have to use that timeout. Yeah. He has to do everything in his power to stay in bounds. Oh, there. Yep. Everything in his power he has to do to stay in bounds there. I don't even see and Drew Clipper on the sideline. The clock. Boy, oh boy. So the Chargers go ahead and use that timeout, but Just Jay, like please don't take great exception to this, but. If this was on a different field, I don't think the clock would have continued to run. That seemed to be a hometown call there. Well, you know, I'm sitting there looking at that. I'm like, ooh, somebody's going to be uh, <laughs> getting a letter. Well, they just put a little bit more time on the clock now. They went back from 20, was it 22 seconds to 26? I got to say, honestly, it probably should be around 29, 29, 30 seconds. Well, I got to think uh, Coach's BB over there uh, helped the, the rest say, hey, no, forward progress is stopped while he was inbound. Keep, yeah, that, I think there was a little encouragement yeah, shared they, there. I'm sure knowing Coach uh, Coach BB, I'm sure that's the way it was going. Well, because actually, as you commented, you say he's got to fight to stay inbound. Anything so. you do, you're not going to get the first down. You have to stay inbounds. That's football 101 right there. He stays inbounds, the clock runs down, and they probably one more play, they're in for halftime. Okay, so here's where we are at. It is fourth and one. The Eagles will punt. They've got a slight wind at their back. 20 second, 26 seconds remain. So after the punt, the Chargers may have a play or two. High punt will bounce just across midfield, get a nice bounce, and touch down at the 38-yard line with just over 13 seconds remaining in the first half. So what do you think here? I, you think they, they play conservative, take go in with halftime with the lead? No way. You think no they go way. for it here? Uh, why not? I mean, I don't want to get anymore. stupid. I don't, you know what? You, they'll probably do some of those. Maybe, they might come back with starting off with that jet sweep, maybe a little uh, lead with the guard pulling at the trap. Something they've been successful with that they might be able to bust that. So with that in mind, what I would call would be that same misdirection, fake to the fullback, fake there, that post pattern that was open. It was wide open earlier, and he just missed him. Now we got three deep defenders in the secondary. 
Oh, they are going to take a knee. Four deep, yes they are. Content to take a seven to three lead to the half are the Central Chargers. I guess that's an interesting first half. It's been a great first half. It could not have gone any better for ACC. They should be very proud of how they're playing and, and the work that they're putting in right now. I guarantee you coming in, and if, if they say, well, you have seven to three lead, we'll take that all day long. No doubt about it. Going to be interesting to see the adjustments. The Eagles staff make it half and see if Drew Clifford comes out ready for action in third quarter. Well, I know he's in the uh, locker room already, so we'll have to see. Maybe I can get, uh, get my son to run and get us an update on him. Looking forward to the second half back after this here on TV 17. Hodges Westside Truck Center is the place to go if you need a work truck for your business. Hodges offers a wide variety of trucks to meet your needs. And we have two locations to serve you in Marengo and in Elburn. And that's where you can browse around and find the right truck for you. We also service what we sell. We have an excellent parts and customer service department. And we also have a complete workshop to make the repairs you need to keep your truck on the road. Our Elburn facility is located on Main Street just east of Route 47. And in Marengo, you can find Westside Truck Center on Route 20 Grant Highway near I-90. Larry Brassfield here with my good friend Jay Hampton. Starting off the second half, visiting ACC Chargers. Field the kick about the two yard line. And that's Zajac, boy, I tell you what, he's the energizer <laughs> funny, he just doesn't he quit. everywhere. Unfortunately, he didn't have a chance there. Fumble, fumble the uh, kickoff a little bit, go back and get it. By then, he was left out to dry. Well, well let's see what kind of adjustments they make it uh, at halftime, you know, for the Eagles here and defensively and uh, offensively, you know, for ACC and see what they can do. Yeah, well, the kickoff was really a line drive, and he didn't catch it clean, and that threw off the timing. And, yeah, therefore, the bad field position, but... You know, really, it seemed like the Chargers' success in the first half largely built around the running game success, primarily. I'd be really surprised to see him go away from that, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But uh, be looking for a lot of Ryan Serza. And that was not Serza there. That was Jeff Albert. You know, that's the other thing. So trying, to give, trying, trying to give Serza a little break, are they? Well, you know, and that's a, a very balanced running attack between Griffin Zajac, Jeff Albert, and then, of course, Ryan Serza. A lot to defend, but a lot of their success, they had either been sealing the corner on the jet sweep or getting off tackles that really kind of broke open to the outside. You know, and ever like we talked earlier in the first half, they get two, three, four yards of pop here. That's it's, it's going to be hard to stop. Hey Brad, did you see Beatham? Beatham's going in. Beatham's going in. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Delay of game. Boy, that could bode well for the Eagles. I tell you, Larry, you don't want to come out. You get you get three, four yards on them, kind of pound the ball, and then you come back with a stupid penalty. So let's see what they uh, then come back from that here. You just got you something positive. When I tell you what, you know, we were kind of wondering out loud what sort of adjustments they've made, but it also seems like the wind has picked up a little bit. Not really showing on the flag there at the north end of the field, but could be a factor. Inside handoff to Serza off that left end again. Out near the 25 yard line will put it in a reasonable third down situation. Well, Ted, I have to check out what number that right guard is, but he is doing a fantastic job of pulling on that. He's coming around, he's, he's sealing that end, and they, it seems like at a drop of hat, they get eight, nine yards of pop, don't they? No doubt about it. And I think you got number 78, Elijah Woodward at center. 50, and that's uh, number 65, 65 lining up at the right guard, Danny Yule. Executing well, double shift to the far side. Might be inside over coming our way, maybe. Inside Jet handoff. sweep Jet to the far thing. side. There's Zajac, gets the corner, and a crease across the 35, and that's running hard. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's a great call on the blitz package there. They had the blitz coming in, and they just can't catch up, up with him. They miss a tackle, and now they have nobody on the outside linebacker. 
Jay, you can see it. They're starting to believe in themselves. Yes, that's, and that's the worst thing you want right now is for the Eagles. For ACC, that is fantastic. Have them believe in themselves, knowing that they can get the job done. Fresh set of downs. Deep eye offset from the right hash. Counter give, Serza. You know, for a, he just keeps his legs moving. He pounds, he pounds, he pounds. He can get, you know, when you think you got him, he's going to get another two to three yards on you. Good foot quickness and speed, and like you say, just keep that leg drive going. Five yards of pop all day long. They will stick with it. You know, looking at that Charger offensive line, got number 77, Gyro Varela. 265, so a, yep. the, the, the Eagles do, yeah. <laughs> They've got some big fellas up front as well. Again with the offset eye. This is Albert. And we'll bring up third and short. I am kind of surprised, you mentioned in the first half, I'm surprised they don't come off with that, uh, the fake inside handoff and hit that post. That's the one pattern that they've had that the Eagles could not defend, and he was wide open. I'd look for them to come back soon. Maybe not this play here, but I think here in a, you know, on this drive, they're going to come back to something like that. They do have the win, though. You mentioned the win, though. That's in their face, so I guess it would be kind of a gutsy call. Third and two, and if I'm lining up on the defensive we'll side right of the ball, out. I'm reading number 21. It's coming this way. Oh. When do you learn that, Pee Wee football? Yeah, they got it again. I think he's got a good hard count. And he does. I, that's a mark of a well-coached team. Yeah. Well, Jay, I'll tell you this. One of the things I love about high school football is how you can see momentum shift on a play, whether it's a big play, a turnover. Mm -hmm. Well, you see it a lot, but right now momentum on the Chargers' side as they're now in Eagle territory. Serves with a short pitch off the right end. Leg driving more. I hate to say right now, I just think that the, uh, the coaching staff's getting out coached right now for ACS. And um, that's that's really strange coming from uh, Dan and, Don, and Dave Beebe, or Don and Dave Beebe. We saw number 53, Denver Warner. In for the Eagles on defense. Looks like he's lining up their right tackle position. Bunch to the left side, serves up the middle. It's good penetration, but I tell you what, they're picking up yardage consistently. I was, ju I was just thinking that. We, you know, even when the Eagles get penetration, they still can't make that. Uh, that you know, that he does not go down with the first tackle, and you can't arm tackle. Well, and I, I got to think that the, you know, that penetration that we're just observing and talking is why they brought in Denver Warner, that right tackle position. You know what the Eagles are going to need? They need they need a big play, a good defensive stop. Get some get them pumped up. Get some momentum going as you keep talking about today. Otherwise, a ACC, this is too easy for them right now. And hats off to them. This they have a great offensive plan coming. Third and 5 from the Eagle, 44. Offset eye once again. Play action to Serza. Going deep over the middle. Griffin Zajac completes and drops ball. it into the end zone. Oh, my God. Uh, you cannot you, fumble the no. ball forward. Yes, you cannot. And I even question whether that was truly a completion. <laughs> we well, got a couple coaches on the field. Well, I guess what happened? <laughs> Catch him up with what just happened, Larry. Griffin say, Jack, complete inside the five, seemed to juggle the ball. I tell you what, two things here. I don't think he can fumble the ball forward, is, is what my understanding was. And did he, do you think that was a catch? Did he come down? Hey, look, as he's coming down, the ball's popped out of his hand. Well, we asked the hypothetical, undefined question earlier, what is a catch? 
If anybody out there can uh, email Larry, <laughs> tell Facebook whatever you want to do here and find out what a catch is, we'd really love to know because I, I, I that's a tough one. Hit up Terry Weedle at TV17 Outdoors on Facebook. <laughs> Wow, and but that fumble the ball forward rule, I think that goes to the NFL. High school could, could be yeah, different. Ob obviously it is. Yeah, you're right. That is the call. They're standing by it. Eagles wow. are a little shell-shocked. I have to go with what you've been saying all night long, Larry. Momentum, 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 and momentum. And there we go. They sure did. Eagles down 14-3 back after this. TV 17. Get set to save now at your local Kubota dealer. Kubota's RTVX series is the best-selling diesel utility vehicle in the industry, earning their place by setting the standard for being durable and reliable under all kinds of conditions. Right now, you can get long-term financing as low as 0% APR for four years on new Kubota RTVX utility vehicles. See your local Kubota dealer today. Our independent Allstate agent in Sugar Grove is David Weiss. With his friendly, courteous staff, David can give you the best rates for your home insurance as well as your auto insurance. Let him show you how to save money for all of your insurance needs. His office is conveniently located on Route 47 and Cross Street in Sugar Grove. Call him anytime. His phone number is area code 630 Four six six seven eight three five. Welcome back, high school football fans. TV seventeen outdoors. It's the opening night of the twenty sixteen high school football season. And the Aurora Christian Eagles are down fourteen to three after a completed pass was fumbled into the end zone, ruled a touchdown. We'll see if they can come back. Lashevsky takes the kickoff back to the opposite side, cuts it back oh again. Maybe the a face, face mask, mask flag yeah, Maybe a face in. mask there. Well, Coach, the first change of field, okay. The second, not a good you idea. You have to take that ball north-south. You can't keep coming back across. I mean, at this level, you can do that in, in middle school, peewee football, but I tell you right now, the guys are too fast nowadays to be able to cut that back. Well, we were just talking about this. Possible uh, all-state quarterback that they had, they were, you know, touting, and um, with Drew Clippert. That goes out the window. You come in with the, your first game of the year with true freshman starting off your second half, and Josh Beatham, who played the game earlier, played the game the earlier, did very well. Threw about probably three touchdowns in the game before. But I tell you what, this is a, uh, I don't know any 14-year-old kid with this undue pressure right now. Hold on. We were thinking, presuming that that was a face mask penalty against the Chargers. Eagles been charged with the block in the back. That's what happens. You start going around. Now you're lineman. Everybody's, it's, he could have taken it and had another 10 yards. They're coming. To, you know, they're spreading them out right now, coming this way. Fullback's got to get that blocked. Off tackle right, Danny Russell. Trying to make his way, good open field tackle there. It's number five, Jeff Albert. So yeah, the hill just got much, a little bit <laughs> steeper to climb, but yeah, Clipper didn't even come out of the locker room. No, and uh, with a with a, some type of a hip injury, I, I wouldn't expect to see him the rest of the evening. Why, why risk the rest of the season? But I can see what they're gonna do here. They're gonna try to split out wide and, and, and get a guy out there and see if they can get this fullback as a lead blocker. So you've got presumably a 14-year-old freshman out there playing his second game of the night on the varsity stage, and he hits a wide open Ryan Burke, and he is going to go 87 yards. going to throw. Say hello to my friend. Momentum. They did not think he was going to throw. What a fake on that. Beautiful throw. That was an unbelievable play. We said at the break, what a script for this young 14-year-old freshman. Come in. And I tell you what, knowing Don Beebe who he is, hey, if you're going to play for me, you better know what you're doing. If you can't, we'll find somebody else. And you know what? That kid just proved it. 87 yards, and Ryan Burke was wide open. And Great you, call. And what, you know, Ryan Burke's not going to miss it, and you sure aren't going to catch that kid. Fantastic speed on him. 
And they're going for two. I'm going to tell you right now, onside kick. <laughs> That's why I'm not coaching. I'm a <laughs> one step at a time. So this could be a very key two-point conversion successfully made would make it a three-point game, Jay. Oh, absolutely. Let's see what they got here. To the air, complete. Oh, so close, so Kevin close. Kevin Cross could not reach the ball across the goal line. But we have a ball game on our hands, folks. 14-9, back with the kick after this, here on TV 17. Hi, I'm Melissa Garcia of Remax All Pro in Sugar Grove. If you're thinking of buying or selling a home this season, we can help. Our team approach helps provide personal and professional assistance in your home buying needs. If you're looking for a home, our buyer specialist team can assist you with every facet necessary for a successful buying experience. If you're considering putting your house on the market, we showcase your home both in print with local periodicals, newspapers, and the real estate book, and online at enhanced sites with realtor.com, Zillow, Homes.com and Trulia, not to mention many more, and also on the go by assigning QR codes, text codes, and mobile sites that connect your home to mobile consumers on the go. Let the Melissa Garcia team at Remax All Pro help you find the perfect home or help you get the highest and best price for your current home. Call or text anytime at 630-878-9868 or visit our website at www.melissagarciahomes.com. 440 left to play here in the third quarter. A 14-9 game. That's Griffin Zajac taking the kick right up the cut across the 35 out to the 38-yard line. Well, he sure didn't go uh, east-west. He went north-south. Well, and that's the exact difference, you know, catching the ball clean, the opening kickoff, he fumbled it, and they were, what, about the, the 15, 17-yard line. His burst of speed is amazing. I, it, he's a heck of a player. It's, it's a good acceleration. So we mentioned before the success the Chargers running game has had. See if the Eagles defense can get some penetration offset that. Yeah, you don't want to keep giving these Eagles second chances. Ryan Serza off there guard right. They're going to keep running that play all night. You have to, right? You got to keep running that play until they stop you. Yeah, but I think the, the defense is getting a little bit of a feel for it. Braxton Mays, younger brother of Brandon. Brandon Mays, older brother of B.J. Mays of the seventh grade uh, football team. Oh, everybody's talking about <laughs> B.J. Mays. Yeah, everybody talks about Brandon. You know, it's about B.J. Brandon, yeah, Northern Illinois. Serza off the guard to the left side. So, Jay, here's the linebacker talking, you, you got to you gotta start running some inside run blitzes. Yeah. You know what, they, 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 they have guessed wrong every single time they've done it, in, in the, in the play. But, yeah, especially when you're having success running the, the A-gap there and the inside the guards. Yeah. Well, Tim, how much can Serger, how much can he, of a pounty can he keep taking? He is their workhorse today, that's for sure. Illegal substitution. Yes. Now that little mistake could be very key because all of a sudden third and three becomes third and eight. Yes. And I tell you what, serves up the middle, isn't going to pick up eight yards. You know what they're going to do here? They're going to be conservative. I would, I would, you never know though today. So it's been kind of a crazy game well, so far. So what I think we're going to see, especially with the ball out near that right hash, I would be looking for a misdirection 
jet sweep. You're talking about that trap over here to the near side. That's what I'm looking at, Jay Hampton. Oh, I would think you're absolutely right, especially the wells that guard's been pulling all day. It, it, you know what, the formation's setting it up. It sure is. Trips right. Try to clear it out, get a one-on-one. -on -one. Well, oh, both wrong. Quick hitter to the right, splits the defender, oh. and gets the first down. You know, that's good coaching on their part. They got the formation set up to play that they've ran every time. But what do we always say? Uh, you got a play that sets up another play that sets up another play. You have to have more than one, one avenue on, on each play, on each uh, formation, I should say. And they did it there. Quick hitting, I'd almost call it a slip screen with the bunch trio of receivers over there. Just stops in his tracks, let the other two guys lead the way, but good blocks, picks up the first down. That was big. And now they're at midfield. There's that play we were talking about, but defended well. Yeah. Julian James. He came untouched. It was outside linebacker, I think I saw there. Came out untouched. Julian. We got the little fridge coming in here. Game. He is. <laughs> the mini fridge. The mini fridge. Oh, I don't know what he is on the. Uh, oh, he is. Oh, he's a fullback. Yeah. yeah. Belskis from the shotgun. He's rolling to the right. Pressured. Fridge nearly got him, just overthrown. Wow. You don't see many 300-pound kids like that. Chase a quarterback down from the back side. That's a great play. He could feel the pressure. I'm telling you now, he could be a state champion heavyweight wrestler. <laughs> Although he'd have to get down to 275. Is that the max? Yeah. But I tell you what, he's just he's got that body of the athleticism. Really in, in as a freshman, really? As a freshman. I want to meet his parents. Yeah. <laughs> She's a sweet lady, by the way. <laughs> I'm sure she is. You know, it's great for the quarterback just to get rid of that ball without she, taking a second. She's a good cook, too. <laughs> she's got to be a good cook. <laughs> and I like to eat if you're out there. I'll take some of that food. Third and long from the shotgun to the air, overthrown. Oh, oh no. Uncatchable. Was that even catchable? Feet tangled up. You saw it They're coming. gonna talk. They're gonna talk. You saw it coming. They have to. Well, hey, the fumble into the end zone stood up. Yes, that's true. And this one will too. First of all, I don't I don't it's over his head. It's not gonna catch the ball. Again, uh, with high school rules, I don't know if catchable is that could be too. Is a fact. Well, it should be if it's not, Larry. We're, we're, we're petitioning the well, IHSA. Terry, call the IHSA. We're going to get this changed. Email, Facebook them. Get, get us some self. answers. Yes, contact IHSA. Hey, Terry's going to have a lot going regarding on regarding pass interference. Jet sweep. That's Albert. Got the crease. And, oh, and he got bent back. Ooh, boy, did he ever. Picked up about four. Tell you what, Jay, this Eagle defense needs to make a stand now. Well, if you look on the sideline, we got, we, I guess that answers our question. Drew Clipper will not be coming back. He's on the sideline, no pads on, ice on his hip. Oh, boy. Serza off guard to the right. Number we had number one, number 77. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> Denver Warner made yeah. that play. Yeah, he, he turned him around. He disrupted it. Yeah. Threw off the timing. That was the penetration they've not been getting. You know, they were hitting that hole. He had to bounce that back out. Once he got that penetration, like you said, they bounced it out and he had nowhere to go. Denver Warner, I'm impressed, and I am a fan. Third and six. 
Belskis going to stay in the pocket to the air. Oh, another flag, another flag. I would say which way this one goes, Larry. Holding, it looks like. I don't know if I'd call it holding, but there was contact beyond yeah. the five yards. They, That's true. I understand that it. better than the other one. I would I would agree with you in that aspect. And boy, you can tell the uh, the Eagles fans sure didn't like that call. I like how they're mixing up, though. I like how uh, ACC, their Chargers are mixing up. They're doing some run. They're, they're starting to pound the run. Well, let's, you know what? Let's throw on them. Let's see what they can do. See if they can stop us. Yeah, no, good point because, yeah, very, very heavily run-oriented up until now. But on this drive, a little more confidence in going to the air. Ryan stirs on the short pitch. Made the first guy miss. Tackled about the line of scrimmage. That should do it for us. And just like that, three quarters of play are behind us. We're going to turn it around, bring you the fourth quarter after this here on TV 17. Years, Pegs on Main Street in Maple Park has provided quality professional hair care for the entire family. Peg and her staff keep up on the latest fashion trends for adults and children. She also carries a wide variety of hair care products for your convenience. And when they're finished pampering your hair, you can walk over and browse around the fantastic on-site gift shop. Stop in anytime at Pegs on Main in downtown Maple Park or give them a call at 815-827-3051. Here to start the fourth quarter, the Chargers are on the march from the Eagle 25-yard line, going nowhere there. I turned around and just missed a play. Hey, what happened there? I'm sorry, I was, I was talking to Brad in the back here. Oh, guess what? They gave the ball to Ryan Serza up the middle. Well, that doesn't surprise me. But Woo! I'll tell you what, that Eagle D is starting to shut that down a little bit. So now third and nine, and you gotta think that they're in two down territory. Yeah. You know, the Chargers, whatever wind is out there, it, that, wind is at their back. I think I, I would agree with you. I think it's at their back for the most part. That's what's going to be a little hard for the Eagles coming back, throwing the ball like that with the wind in their face. But I tell you, we said it. I, I like that post over the middle here. They're not. I, maybe that's what they're lining themselves up for. Two receivers split to the left, one to the right, offset eye. False start. Oh, delay a game. Well, you know what? This is not what the what the Chargers need right now. They were moving the ball. They had your friend momentum going. That's not what they wanted to keep moving backwards. The last two plays, well, they lost 10 yards. And they haven't even gotten a playoff yet. You know, you're right. But uh, I still feel that the Eagles have a comeback of some sort in them. What do you always say when you get here, Larry? Miracle, Monster. Sullivan. That's right. It's God's field. Yeah, the, the storybook of the 14-year-old freshman called into action. But he's got to get the ball first. <laughs> you still got it. You still got it, Larry. All these years, you still got it. Time out on the field. We'll take one as well. Remember when you were a kid? You liked getting dirty and building things? There were no limits. You could move mountains. The John Deere 1 Series Subcompact Tractor. The way grown-ups move mountains. And with Auto Connect implements, it's the easiest tractor to use yet. Hi, I'm Dave Gieske from Buck Brothers. See these products in our complete lineup of John Deere equipment at our location at Route 20 and 47, Hampshire. ACC Chargers looking at third and 14 from the 29. To the air they go. Fade over. Oh, oh it's up, Larry. What a catch! What a catch! A pass. Sorry, I get too passionate here. Who was he throwing it to there? Was he throwing? It to, uh, that was unbelievable. Who was that? 25. 
20, who was that? 25. That is Tadagu. Philip Tadagu. They're running a fade to yeah. Griffin Zajac, just overthrown. So not only is it a turnover, they get the ball on the 20. We were that saying, a, come back in them. Oh my gosh, absolutely. You know, they're down, the penalties killed them. They were at, they were at second and five. Next thing you know, two penalties, puts himself into a throwing situation. It's all about capitalizing on mistakes, so let's see what they can do. Sorry if I yelled in your ear, Terry. Sorry. Danny Russell fumbled the pitch and tackled for a lot. Well, I gotta tell you, it looked like it hit Danny Russell right in the hands. Maybe he picked his eyes up. Yeah. You know, the quarterback threw that underhand. It's probably supposed to be more of a pitch to him instead of underhand. Yeah, it just goes back to timing and, and all that momentum, much of it lost there. Giving up five yards. Now we're gonna come out in a shotgun formation. Trailing by five. Looking to the right, completing the flat. You know, that's what they're going to have to do right there. They have to just kind of pound the ball or, or pass the ball in these little flats. That's like an extended handoff right now. You'd have to think, too, Larry, with Drew Clippert hurt, they have to, their playbook can't be as, as extensive as it would be with Drew in there, right? So I'm thinking they have to, you know, they're not, not dumb it down is the right word, but they're going to, you know, not make it as complicated, Drew being a two-year starter. Right. Well, and just thinking about arm strength, you know, oh, it just, sure. just doesn't have the, the maturity and the arm strength. But, so, yeah, you're right. I think you are going to see shorter passes, a little bit more conservative. There's an example right there, unfortunately. Yeah. He had uh, Burke. Was that Burke? It was Burke yeah. that he was looking for and just underthrown. Yeah. It looked like Ryan was open. There was nobody within six, seven yards of him. And we'll see, you know, the real effect of this win as this punt gets up into the air. Well, I tell you what, I think a good punt here. Does he get to the 40? I, I think the, uh, the, I think Zajac is way too deep. Uh, he's a good 40 yards back. Barely got it away. And that is going to well, give a good. favorable bounce, fortunately. That might have been a 10-yard punt with a 10-yard roll from the 22 out to the 41. Well, 10 yard punt with a nine yard nine roll. Girl. There you go. Don't tell my wife, she's a math major, math teacher. Don't tell her I did that. Oh, we talk about capitalizing. You get an interception in the end zone, you stop them, you gotta capitalize. There was a missed opportunity there and, and, and really started with the fumbled pitch on the first play. We are trying to just have Danny Russell on a sweep. The Chargers right now, what they need to do, pound the ball, keep doing with what works. They got away with one there. Let's see what they come back with. Well, and if I'm calling defensive signals for the Eagles, I, I would be getting a little more aggressive here. Serza, pounding the ball up the middle. What's new? I think it's about for five there. Yes, sir. Your eyes are much better than mine. You know, and now we, we've got an eye on the clock. We're in the fourth quarter already down to eight and a half minutes. It is a one score game, albeit a five point margin. That was a huge, huge miss extra point for the Eagles there. Well, it's absolutely the right call and we, we didn't have that sideline view. We don't know if he was a half a yard or just inches short, but that does change the dynamic in a big way. Dancing with their date. Woo, picking up the first down. Has he not carried the ball and not got four? He's got to be averaging four yards a carry at least. Well, and he almost looks like one of those guys that he's picking up steam as the game goes yeah, on. I think you're right. And I wouldn't call him skinny, but he sure runs harder than 175 pounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got that right. His legs never stop. You know what? That, that is a natural running back right there, and he's doing a fantastic job.
delay of game. You heard the charger coaches yeah, screaming, go, go, go. Oh, he gave him the timeout. Oh, and they're last already, but it saved him five yeah. yards. We'll take one as well, back in a moment. TV 17. Our Shooting Sports is your complete shooting sports retail center with a full line of shooting accessories and Winchester ammunition. We have the widest selection of high quality over and unders and the knowledgeable sales staff to pick out the right one for you. We carry a wide range of Winchester loads, including pistol shooting, upland bird, and steel for waterfowl. Try the most reliable ammunition available from Winchester on our computerized shooting range. Visit JR Shooting Sports today, a mile west of the Fox Valley Mall on Oakhurst Drive in Aurora. Welcome back, football fans. 7.42 left to play here in the fourth quarter. The visiting ACC Chargers leading 14-9. Another, another costly mistake. So in hindsight, he's wasted a timeout. Oh, and if you think Coach was upset a minute and a half ago. <laughs> yeah, I agree. He, he's fuming over there right now. Blood pressure just went up a couple more notches. Yeah, you're right, because he burned the last timeout. They call the play. They go from the sideline to the line of scrimmage. And get that would be absolutely shocked, Larry, if they pass the ball. Absolutely shocked. Well, why would you at game. this point exactly. control the clock, control the ball, keep it on the ground, pound the ball with Serza behind Flanagan. There you go. Finds a crease. Okay. There is every second they can on the uh, on, on the game clock. No timeouts left. All right, there's a carry for the Chargers. Fifty-one, James Kelly, and on the Second one. Sally and Baumgartner credited with the tackle there. Shift left. Chat sweep to the left. How many the times are they playing tonight? Cuts it up nicely. Wow. He runs hard. Well, and I think the, the, the key to success of that play was him with that kick out block getting upfield. Absolutely, absolutely. And the one thing, once you get past those, that, that end, there's nobody else out there right now. They've got the, uh, the wide receivers are doing a great job of stock blocking right now. Um, and he got to come up to safety, I believe, made the tackle on that. So I tell you what, if they'll take, anytime you may have the safety make it the, the tackle, they're going to take that all day long. Oh, no doubt about it. So a big third and four. From the Eagle, 24. Serves with a counter give off the left side. Tackled for a short gain, and they will be going for it here, you got to think, oh, Jay. Oh, absolutely. Well, they're going to do a hard count. You know that, right? They've done it all night long. They've gotten, they've gotten the Eagles twice. You have to, have to, have to not move. you got to watch the ball. Go back to Pee Wee football. We've got our defense cornerback behind us. Everyone else can see him, but he'd be furious right now. He, of course, that is for middle school football, he is. Great point. Let's see if they do go hard count. It's old school T formation. Oh, he and did it again. They did, did it, it again. again. Same exact thing. He called it. Don't you hate they being did it right everywhere. in this instance? I do hate being right in this instance. Free first down. The only time I like being right is when I'm at home, and that doesn't happen often either, Larry. <laughs> but how do you not know? They're no, you know what they're going to do. It's only a mistake if you don't learn from it. That's true. It was a mistake. We didn't learn from it. Oh, what's the formation? Old school. Off tackle right. That could have been a game changer right there. So yeah, you're right, as the uh, clock now approaches the five minute mark and the Chargers astutely not in a hurry. Big Braxton Mays coming off right now. Is that lightning? Heat lightning in the distance in the south side. So they stay old school. Albert, so they go off tackle left. Boy, I tell you, quarterback would have kept that. Did you see that? 
There, was no, there was nobody. He would have kept the ball. He's walking in the end zone from the 20. A good friend and original broadcast partner of mine used to say best play in football. The boot. Naked bootleg. So anybody can run a bootleg. You gotta <laughs> run it naked. You gotta run it naked. Because <laughs> then you really want to run. Look, Larry. there is good call, J. Hamp. On the run, complete. What yeah, a catch. Setting him up. You know what? If we can see from here, you, you know darn well the other coach can see it. That's why I'm off his coordinator. Eighth grade middle school football. God bless uh, you, Tom Planters. I'm going to call you and tell you to just check that out. Tom uh, Planters called it. Hey, he did. Where's he at tonight? Caneville. Good for him. We're here with Terry, though, so we're, we're having a great time. He used to drop some beauties on me quite a little. Like you said, a little or a lot. It's quite a little. Thank quite you. a little. Quite a little. Old school T, first and goal from the two. Serza. Trying to strip it. Got it. Driving and driving. Come on, Eagles. Let's make a stand here. That was big Alec Baumgartner on the stop there. Making his presence known once again. You know, I, I gotta be honest with you, I like the boot again and going out the other way. You've got an option, you can run it in, you can throw it, throw it away. You just cannot turn the ball over. If you're if, if you're the charge run, you just cannot turn it over. Uh, yeah, and you're bringing the house defensively. Go everybody, Albert off the left side. Got a posse pushing for the end zone. Awfully close, no call, just oh, short. down third. Woo. Oh my, he's got to be within a foot. No touchdown. I'm going to say, you don't do anything but pound the ball now. Third down and goal. At this point, I, I would go quarterback sneak if it were me. So yeah, you, you got to go eight, nine tight on the line. and. Well, here's your T formation. Oh, yeah. The one's going to fall the other two. Good penetration on the far side. Still driving. Held out from the end zone. That Woo! defense there, baby. Nice play, and they're going to call a timeout. I got to say, Larry, I got to agree with you. Why would they not just, you, you need, what, a foot, maybe? If you're looking for a fun place to bring the kids, Look no further than the Sugar Grove Family Fun Center on Route 47. Kids of all ages like to start out on the go-kart speedway. And for the drivers who want a bigger challenge, they can check out the slick track. Then cool off with water cannons you squirt your friends with on the bumper boats. Or load up the water balloons in buckets and sling them at your friends in water wars. And let's not forget our modern, fun-filled miniature golf course. Look for us on Route 47 in Sugar Grove between Jericho Road and Route 30. All right, it's all right here. Everybody's on their feet. Right now. They go to the wing tee. They're going to go to the air. Are you kidding me? With time. Oh, my gosh. Wide open. What a call. That was a gutsy call. Gutsy call. That's a missed assignment there. Somebody, can, you can, he came out of the tight end. He went from the backfield, one side of the tight end, came out in a little flat. That's got to be the outside linebackers. Who saw that coming? Not us. No, absolutely. Great, great, great call. call. That's a gutsy call, too. Awfully quiet over here on the home stand yeah. side. Shock, Jay. Just really shock. And I think, you know, they they know. They're coming in here, and we talked this earlier. I don't know if there's anybody in the stands here that believe the uh, ACC Chargers can win this game, except for them. Give them credit. They came in. You talked about the countdown the Eagles had after their last loss. Snap is fumbled, complete to Flanagan, and it's good for a two-point conversion. Wow. When everything's going Everything. your way. <laughs> fumbled snap, oh, man. running out, bailing from his life, throws the ball up, lands in his hands, runs it in. Is that, are we playing Madden right now? 
Holy cow. What's going on? 20 to nine, it's a two score, 13 point difference. It's a really steep hill to climb, folks. 231 left, we'll be back after this here on TV 17. Hodges Westside Truck Center is the place to go if you need a work truck for your business. Hodges offers a wide variety of trucks to meet your needs. And we have two locations to serve you in Marengo and in Elburn. And that's where you can browse around and find the right truck for you. We also service what we sell. We have an excellent parts and customer service department, and we also have a complete workshop to make the repairs you need to keep your truck on the road. Our Elburn facility is located on Main Street, just east of Route 47, and in Marengo, you can find Westside Truck Center on Route 20 Grant Highway near I-90. Two and a half minutes left to play. The Aurora Christian Eagles trail 22 to nine. Oh, what a block. That was about it, though. Yes. Boy, we were hoping for a big return there, and Dylan Leshevsky really gave it an effort. There was quite a block. Did you catch the number? That was uh, Burke. Boy, you talk about a, a well-rounded game that he brings. He does. So the storybook, well, the story here is, we'll, we'll we call it storybook start to the season, but... But to see a junior quarterback out, you've got the freshman up and a steep hill to climb. From the 24. Nearly oh, intercepted. He was open again. He's got, you know, you can't fault the kid. He's a true freshman coming in, trying to make the throw, but when your number's called, you got to be able to step up there. So the Eagles kind of scrambling here to find their way offensively. Down 13 points, not much time. And not a lot of options out there. Delayed draw right. up the middle, good call, but hit Well, they didn't fall for that at all, did they? They just kind of, you know, it's like that, that nose guard just sat there. Like, bring, bring it to me. Like they were expecting it. Big number 77, Varela making the play there. Oh, time out. Eagles take another time out and we will too, back in a moment. Get set to save now at your local Kubota dealer. Check out the all new ZD1000 and ZD1200 series commercial zero turn mowers. They're the top selling diesel zero turns in the industry with Kubota Pro Dex and patented clean cut blades. Now get long term financing as low as 0% APR for four years or a $300 customer instant rebate on a ZD1000 or ZD1200 series mower. See your local Kubota dealer today. Just over two minutes left to play here at the Miracle on Sullivan. Freshman quarterback number eight, Josh Beacom, thrust into the spotlight here. They set up a screen, nice call, coach. Danny Russell across the 30, oh, nice block. Across the Who 40. Who is that was unbelievable block. He just Leshevsky. Leshevsky, wow. He just depleted that kid. We heard it all the way up here, and you got to love the call. Yeah, that was a great call. You know what? You gotta, you're got to. you not going to make that deep throw right now. Give him some win. A freshman quarterback. Give him something. Give him some confidence. Let him complete a, play, a pass. And let's see what can happen. That's right. Get the ball to an athlete. Let him make a play. Another quick hitter over the far side. That's Burke. Nice pass. I'd be going that all day. All of a sudden. One thirty-eight left on the clock, and there's an illegal oh, procedure. False. Yeah. That hurts. So I don't know what happened there. If he had the wrong counter, the center didn't snap the ball, couldn't tell. Could you? Uh, looked like the center forgot to count. Yeah. <laughs> When, when you've got three guys go before the ball. That's receiver. Yes. Now I'm going to tell you this. I've been calling for it all night. I'd love to see Brock Harner get a chance to make a big play. I don't even know if he has a catch tonight. 
couldn't be a much better time for there it. Goes. They're looking there that way. Oh, there's a pass in the flag. Oh, wow. I cannot believe they that. They called worse the other way. Yeah. <laughs> you talk to him, coach. Oh, man. Really? Well, yeah, Dave Beebe is livid right now. He's getting a little upset with his players, too, and I can understand. They're getting hot. First game of the year, you're down. It doesn't bode well for you. You got your, one of your best receivers just got held coming out. Boy, they called more incidental contact against the Eagles. That's a, if anything, you want them to be consistent. Oh. Ball just overthrown, intended for yeah. Leshevsky. So now the Eagles are going to be looking at third and 15. The minute 15 left to play. I'd like to see him run the old uh, play called Buffalo. They ran, Donnie ran this in Buffalo. It's a great play. You've got a few different options. You got a, you got a receiver coming out of the tight end. You got a flat, you got a post, you got a, an out. Let's see what he does here. Josh picks up. Oh, you can't. Oh. I mean, you can't hit a quarterback when you Oh, he just got. That's a shot. Yeah. Oh, 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 man. How is that not a penalty? But you're absolutely right, Larry. He's down. The ball is on his knees, and he gets leveled. 106 left to play. Fourth and 20. Beat them to the air, down the near side, intercepted. That's Flanagan. Is that Big Denver? Oh. Who made that tackle? Big Denver. Uh, you know, just yeah. uh, that's just so unfortunate. And you can't put that on the young quarterback there. He's trying to make it. Yeah, fourth and 20. He's got to throw the ball up. They know where he's going. You're into the wind. Into the wind. It hung in the air. Yeah. The safety read it. Breaking towards the ball. Boy, oh boy. Not the opener. I assume we would, you know. Anybody thought. Oh, my gosh, no. I assume there'd be a victory formation here. Sure, the Eagles are out of timeouts. We're at 53 seconds. They'll take two knees and... But yeah, like I was starting to say, Jay, just not yeah. the opener anybody had envisioned. Nope, not at all, not at all. I'll and tell you what, I wouldn't want to be the Eagles of practice this week. It's going to be a, it's going to be a tough, long week, that's for sure. Well, and let's give credit mm -hmm. to the Charger opponent that came in well prepared, believing in themselves, and as the game went on, they you could see that you they gained that. confidence. And they're, this is a well-coached team. Oh, absolutely. And they did what they needed to do. They, they got our weak spots. They pounded the ball. They went over tackle. And, uh, and kudos to them. Congratulations to the Chargers. So that will do it. So a very surprising upset for the visiting ACC Chargers. We'll be back with the wrap after this here on TV17. Four-wheel steering is why I get up in the morning. The only thing better than the smell of fresh cut grass is the smell of perfectly level, fresh cut grass. That yellow seat's my favorite chair. You want to find a John Deere dealer? Just set your GPS to Tractor Experts. When my grandson grows up, it's his, but it's all mine now. That's how we run, and nothing runs like a deer. Stop by at Buck Brothers anytime, Route 20 and 47 Hampshire. Well, Jay, we just saw the post-game celebration by the rowdy crowd, yeah. by the visiting Chargers, and you, you would think that they just made it into the playoffs. Well, I tell you what, for them, they haven't made the playoffs in a while. This was a playoff-type atmosphere. A, to them, this was a playoff win for them. This was their, their game, they probably the best game they've played in the last couple of years. Kudos to them. Eagles fans and, and the rest of the team, they should be upset that that happened on their home field. So let's see how they, uh, they come back next week. Well, in big picture, let's hope that Drew Clifford's okay. I tell you what, we were just talking about this off the air, but uh, he is, it doesn't look good. He's, he's limping around pretty sorely, but it's hard to say at this point, but we know it is a hip injury. And, uh, you know, just pray for him and, and, and uh, put in God's hands. Okay, and next week the Eagles are headed where? It's a great question. I know you're going to stump me on that one. <laughs> yeah, it is a home game again. I can't remember against who, though, right off the top of my head. 
We're, oh, I'm, I'm hearing, hold on. I'm hearing it's Marshall. Chicago Marshall is it's coming in next week. So um, that yeah. came from the booth. So, yeah. Coach has got their work cut out for them. We'll yeah. see, you know, the character revealed by these kids and resilient. You know, uh, if nothing always. else, they're not going to give up. That's all right. Absolutely. And with the with Dave and Donnie at, at the helm, they're they're going to they're going to bring out the best in them, and, and they're going to reevaluate what they need to do. And, and I have faith they'll get back on a winning streak. So TV 17 is on the road up in New Hampshire next week. We'll be back here two weeks thereafter. Brother Rice coming in. It doesn't get be any, interesting. It does not get any easier. You had a three A school last year, possibly two A school this year, going against Brother Rice, seven eight A. They got the work cut out for them the next couple weeks. That's for sure. All right, we're looking forward to it. We know that you are, too. Stay with us and check us out on YouTube and Facebook as well. TV 17 Outdoors, Jake, yep. a hey, pleasure hey, as great, always. Hey, great as always. Thanks for the invite again. Terry, thank you. Good night and God bless from TV 17.